hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is a tutorial on how i use the anastasia dip brow pomade to do my brows so i'm going to use an angled brush i'm going to go ahead and dip that into the dark brown of the dip brow anastasia pomade and wipe off the excess i feel like that's what really uh, discourages people when they use a pomade is like they have too much and like oh my gosh it's so much and then they get all freaked out and they're like, I'm never gonna use pomade, I'm always gonna stick with the pencil. What you really need to do is just make sure that you have the right amount on the brush. So you always wanna dip in and then wipe off any excess on the outskirts or a napkin, whatever you feel more comfortable with. And then you wanna apply the dip brow pomade using short, small strokes in the direction that your hair is already growing in the shape of the brows that you already have. So if you have really thin brows and you just wanna keep adding on until you reach the thickness that you want. If you have brows like myself that are a little bit thicker, you just wanna fill in any scarce spots, um, any empty spots, things like that. It's important to remember to always brush out your brows with a spoolie brush. And like I said, you use a very sparing amount of the dip brow with the angle brush. And always remember to wipe off the excess on the edges just so that you don't have a large clump of the pomade on your brow. Um, that way I can use small strokes to go ahead and fill in the hairs as well as make sure that I keep within the shape of the brow that I want. So thicker, natural looking brows. So with the pomade, you are able to layer as much as you want. So you can go in for a second layer if you'd like to make your brows a little bit thicker, make them darker, um, however you so choose. I am going to go in for a second layer because I do like thicker, darker, fuller brows. Um, but you can definitely stop once you reach the thickness you desire. Also guys, don't forget to check out the description box before you leave because I will have the links to the products that I am using as well as some fun information for you guys in the description box below. So check that out. So I'm gonna brush out my brows with my spoolie brush and then I'm going to use my concealer. This is Kat Von D's Locket Concealer. I'm just gonna apply it to the back of my hand as personal preference. I'm going to head and use my concealer brush, apply the concealer right underneath my brow bone where my arch is and I'm going to spread from that point in both directions in the shape of my brow or the underneath shape of my brow. Just keeping with that shape to give a cleaner and more precise look. So if you're wondering about the brushes I'm using, the brushes I use are very much personal preference. I like to use my smaller concealer brush underneath my brows. I have one that's just a little bit bigger to use on top of my brows. These are brushes I've been using for years, guys, for years. So I'm just kind of stuck in my ways. If you guys have any brushes that you find are absolutely amazing, you want me to try out, or that you think I should definitely try out instead of my old school brushes, definitely comment below and let me know. So once I've applied my concealer, if I see any areas that seem to be, need to be filled in or need to be darkened, I go back in with the dip brow and just fill those areas in so that my brows look uniform and full, thick, and natural. So to keep my brows in place all day, I'm going to be using Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel. And I've fallen in love with this stuff, guys. It literally keeps my brows in place all day, but it doesn't give me like a crunchy feel to my brows. It's almost like putting on like a hairspray, keeps it like mousse almost, but they stay in the same spot all day. All the hairs are exactly where they need to be. And you can even see the difference between my brows with concealer, without concealer, with the brow gel and with not, and definitely with is the way to go. So 
So when I apply concealer to the top part of my brow, I literally take the concealer onto the brush. I apply it in the shape that I have already set with my dip brow. And then I spread the concealer out so that it will blend with my foundation and spread it away from the brow itself so that the color is at this thick, stiff color. It actually is blended out. And here again, I'm just darkening up any areas that I feel need to be darkened and filling in any little spaces. Almost done, guys. Alright guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and added a look to my brows. Um, loving how full and natural my brows look right now. Um, and I went ahead and added, um, I want to say like a sherbet rainbow kaleidoscope look. Just a fun look um, to go with, with a neutral lip. If you want to see how I get this look, go ahead and click on that video right there. Right here. Or somewhere in here. You'll see it. It's coming. It, I hope it's here. Okay. Anyway, so go ahead, click that. You'll definitely be able to see how I get that. I definitely um, enjoyed doing this look. Um, but yeah, just a really simple way to get your brows done, guys. I only used three things. So I used my clear um, brow gel. I had my spoolie brush. And excuse me while I found the rest of what I had. Angled brush and my pomade. This is it for my brows. It's all you need. Um, if you watch my other videos, I'm sure you saw how complicated my brows used to go for. It. A lot easier, a lot quicker, um, and I actually like this look a lot better. So yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please come back, watch more videos, press the subscribe button, press that little bell so that you can get notified. Um, we trying to get to 100 subscribers, y'all. So let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. Enough of me for one day. Thank you for stopping by. I will see you soon. Bye.